Good morning, readers. It's Mrs. Opfer, and I'm here again to share another ocean animal poem with you. Holy guacamole! This poem is about a gigantic ocean animal. You guessed it, the blue whale. It has the same rhythm as our smiley shark poem did from last week. All right, let's read together and see if you can kind of follow along with that rhythm. Here we go. Each word gets one point or one tap. Blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Wow, great reading, friends. Wow, 100 feet, that is very long. Let's do our second read together now and I'll slow down. We're going to read each word out loud, let's do it. Pointing or tapping, blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet. As big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Woo! I'm gonna give you some poetry challenges today, readers. Can you find the word in our poem that is a contraction? That means it originally was two words and then we removed one or more letters we smush those two words together and we add in an apostrophe. Hmm, I wonder where that is. I'll give you a hint. It's near the beginning. <laughs> like very near. You got it. There's. And there's stands for there is. There is. Nice job finding a contraction. Can you find three words in this poem that all mean large. Can you find three words that mean large? You did it. Good job, you found big. Yep, you found giant. And what's the last word? Good, you found massive. So we were just working on synonyms there, words that mean almost the same thing. Really good job. Big, giant, and massive all mean very, very large. Friends, today your highlighting job in your poem is a your choice. You might choose to highlight those three synonyms, three words that mean the same thing. That could be kind of fun and different. You could highlight rhyming words like cat, hat, Dog, frog, pickle, tickle. <laughs> so you could reread this poem and find some words that rhyme. Or you could go on a sight word hunt or a letter hunt, finding a word or letter that repeats at least three times. So you're in charge today, readers. Ooh, that's kind of fun and different. When you're finished with your words jobs, I want you to make a gorgeous picture with five colors and five details so that your words in your poem and your picture match. Can't wait to see your beautiful work readers.